Item number SCP-3046, Object Class, Safe, Secure Containment Procedures. SCP-3046 is to be contained in a 60 centimeter cube containment locker at Site-38. No individuals other than selected D-Class personnel should come into physical contact with SCP-3046. Selected individuals are to be provided with a bank account routing number with content between $500 to $600. A cellular phone programmed with SCP-3046-A's number is to be kept in the possession of testing individuals at all times. Instances of SCP-3046 should not be permitted to grow beyond a volume of 5 cubic meters. Discovery of any uncontained instances of SCP-3046 is to be countered through the completion of Procedure 419 Abuya, using Foundation funds, followed by the use of Class B amnestics on any affected or involved civilians. Description SCP-3046 is a spiked purple ball, closely resembling products of the beep line of toys. Eight instances designated SCP-3046-1 through 8 have been recovered to date. SCP-3046 is of indeterminate make, while boards of similar appearance are composed principally of rubber. It is not possible to determine the object's tactile proponent due to its anomalous effects. During testing, SCP-3046 registers a most hardness rating of 10, at least equivalent to diamond. Likewise, the object has proven impenetrable to traditional methods of subsurface scanning, including X-rays and magnetic resonance imaging techniques. In an undisturbed state, SCP-3046 has a diameter of 5.2 centimeters. When not being touched, SCP-3046 remains in a fixed position in whatever location it last inhabited while being touched. SCP-3046 is immovable except during human contact. This immovability is, of course, fixed to the Earth's location and velocity at any given time. When a human is in contact with SCP-3046, the object will become mobile. However, it will also begin perpetually growing in size. Note, SCP-3046 growth is represented by the equation y equals v plus x to the fifth point zero four power, where v equals starting volume, x is the number of minutes since contact, and y equals volume after the X minutes. Volume measured in centimeter cube at all points. The significance of the exponent in this equation, if any, is unknown. Additionally, SCP-3046 will adhere to any exposed human skin. No means of separating skin from SCP-3046 has yet been determined. During growth, SCP-3046 is capable of breaking through any matter used to contain it, including reinforced concrete and steel at any thickness. The ball will not distort from its vertical shape in any way. Due to this growth, SCP-3046 will have a volume of 0.46 times 10 to the fifth cubic centimeters after 15 minutes approximately twice the volume of a beach ball. At 30 minutes, the ball will have a volume of 27 cubic meters. Between 5 and 15 minutes of SCP-3046 coming into contact with a human, the nearest cellular telephone to SCP-3046 will ring. The individual on the other end of the call will request to be put on the line with the individual holding SCP-3046. The voice is designated SCP-3046-A. It is described as a female with a particularly nasal New England accent. The voice will refuse to speak to anyone not in contact with SCP-3046. Once in contact with the affected individual, the voice will describe itself as a representative of an unspecified organization or group 
an offer to remotely separate SCP-3046 from the individual in exchange for money, goods, or services. Currencies accepted to date by SCP-3046-A include all major world currencies, publicly traded goods or materials, or technetium, and an amount varying between $475 and $510. The value is believed to be constant in some unknown currency and varies due to a conversion rate. Once affected individuals agree to the terms of payment, SCP-3046 separates and decreases in size. Unmarked trucks or vehicles will appear at the location of the agreed-upon good and take delivery of it within 10 minutes. No attempts to prevent the taking of possession of the given materials have been successful to date. Though the Foundation has not had the opportunity to experiment with this phenomenon, SCP-3046-A has demonstrated an unknown ability to know when an affected individual is attempting to claim to be in possession of a material falsely. Should an affected individual fail to have any acceptable form of payment, they are offered to complete an unspecified form of labor for the benefit of SCP-3046-A. Once the individual agrees, SCP-3046 separates and decreases in size, the form of labor in all recorded instances has taken the form of asking the individual to travel to a nearby location where they find a cardboard box full of nuts and bolts composed entirely of technetium, according to SCP-3046. The individuals will then receive a phone call instructing them to thread all of the nuts into the bolt. Once all nuts are threaded, the individuals were instructed to leave the area. It should be noted that any individual testing SCP-3046 in Foundation custody has not been provided with any option other than paying in United States dollars. As SCP-3046-A demonstrates a knowledge of the Foundation's ability to pay the requested fee, Individuals separate from SCP-3046 and the iteration rapidly reduces in size to normal. SCP-3046-A has proved cooperative in containment and removal of SCP-3046 instances so long as the payment is forthcoming. SCP-3046-A has shown an extensive and unknown knowledge of Foundation locations, protocols, and other sensitive information. Attempts to track SCP-3046-A via SCP-2232 and similar anomalies are ongoing. Addendum 3046-1 Transcripts of Recorded Calls Log 3046-12 First recorded transcript of SCP-3046-A contact. Affected individual identified as David Carter, 17 years old, convenience store clerk, Living in Clarksburg, Tennessee. Uh, hello, who is this? Hello, Mr. Carter. This is Beep, calling from the Beep Corporation. I am told that you've come into contact with one of our products. Is that correct? Uh, the ball? Yes, product type TH223, iteration 41. We apologize sincerely for any inconvenience this malfunction may have caused and we hope it does not impact your future dealings with Beep Corporation. Now, would you like to discuss removal packages? Uh, you mean getting this thing off me? Yes, of course. Okay, sir. I have our removal packages for up here. We can do a temporary growth delay by remote. I'm sure you've noticed the TH 223 models tendency towards slight enlargement in contact with human flesh by now. But our most popular package is the total separation. Would you be interested in a total separation from the unit? Come on, you gotta get this thing off of me! Okay, sir, I understand. Please have some patience while I select this option for you. Now we can do an in-house removal at no charge. But I'm seeing on my screen that your location... Extended static. Supersonic flight. So we're going to have to do the remote option. Cost in American dollars at your location comes to $434.25. 
Would it be paying cash, check, credit, or other? Length of exchange redacted due to irrelevance and use of expletives. Mr. Cotter refused payment and terminated the call. Fifteen minutes later, Mr. Cotter used directory assistance to call SCP-3046-A and agreed to payment through a combination of funds accessed through a checking account and manual labor threading titanium bolts through onto nuts. Why it is satisfied SCP-3046-A was unknown. Log 3046-87 an example of a log created during testing of SCP-3046 in Foundation custody. Test subject is D-15544 and has access to a Foundation-issued cellular phone and a bank account routing number. D-15544 has been given instructions as to how to complete testing. Hello, sir. This is Beep with Beep Corporation. I see from the screen that you're coming from Foundation Containment Site 38. Please give my regards to Director Beep on his birthday. Would you like to access the usual account to pay for the total removal package? Yes, ma'am. The total will be $498.22. Please let me know when to execute the removal. End log.